How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy I see Josh and we're here with a Dokkan Battle producer letter. I will apologize because I was sleep <laughs> while this uh, went out about three hours ago. So uh, we're going to react to it now if you're watching this video very late at night. Uh, whether you're working or you just up can't sleep i appreciate you thank you for watching and let's get into this producer letter because i want to know what was actually said um in this one like i'm sure there's probably since it's been three hours i'm going to assume uh, there's definitely been some translations going on for whatever's been shown i'm ex he, 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 wait, he brushed his hair. He brushed his hair. So this might be some actual heat. Maybe, uh, oh yeah, a lot of information probably for the super uh, extreme Z. それに合わせて直近で予定しておりますアップデートの2点を発表させていただきます。まずはロードマップを紹介させていただきます。let me know in the comment section below though how you feel about uh, everything that's going to get said and stuff like that in the real uh, chat that's how oh a road map a road map yo I'm going to have to um right after this I'm going to have to go check and see if anybody's got a translation for this road map because this little yellow piece right here that goes behind my camera uh, there's something else there. What, so what is this? Uh, is this months? Is this going to be for the months through? Because uh, if so, then the five and six, uh, or technically six and seven, that little part right there, that should be uh, their Tanabata and also uh, our anniversary on Global Dokkan Battle. So hold on. Hold on. These, these fools might be cooking. バトルに戦略性を増すための敵味方のスキル拡張を中心に行っております。本日はその中でも直近の内容について紹介させていただきます。まずはキャラクターを作成する。I see D uh, L right there for I'm going to assume since that's around that time. I'm going to assume that's data download. A UI might be some kind of you uh user interface which means if 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 i'm if i'm like just reading into that right right now give, give, give your voice props but it seems like it because i see attack and defense why would attack and defense be on a unless they're reworking attack and defense are they reworking the attack and defense? And I see SSR right there. What is there? Is there going to be some SSR changes? Because they're in different colors as well too. So I wonder if it's different, like different things. Okay, so this is a super uh, extreme Z. Are we going to get like actual information on what it's going to do with the first unit, which is, I guess, probably going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, since that's what they show? See, I'm, I'm, re I'm listening to him and looking at this like I know what he's saying, <laughs> and, I, and I really don't, but it's like I'm just giving my own guessments on it and stuff. But I see LR down there, so I don't know what the hell uh, that is, because I doubt that the card is going to an LR. Uh, obviously, I doubt that. That would be crazy. Okay, so that's what the stage is going to look like, and then after the super... Oh, see, I've been looking for this. I've been saying this for a long time, that once we got, like... I even set this for the hidden potential system, so low-key... I'm going to assume that that right there, the aura that's around the card, and I'm speculating, and because I, I hope this is right, but I'm speculating that obviously you get that aura after you get the super extreme, but I'm, I was expecting them to at some point do another rework with the hidden potential system, and that would be dope if the card is like that after extreme, uh, super, extreme Z Awakening, but the super extreme Z Awakening, but... Like after the hidden potential system we work, maybe that goes into a uh, like a rainbow aura around the cart with the rainbow star. Now that would be dope. That would be dope. I hope so. I hope that's the case. Like I truly do. 
対象ステージにひもづく条件付きの入賞を達成することでもメダルが獲得できます。Oh, it's gonna take a lot of, uh, lot of, it's gonna take a lot of stamina to do this. Yeah, character icon change. I like that. I, I love that. I love that a lot. That's gonna make your box look that much more、uh, epic. Especially if the hidden potential system one is right and we do get like that rainbow around it once the unit is rainbowed and stuff. Oh, it'd be amazing. Right now, or right now, Matsu, I'm not mad at you. Right now, you're making people put respect on your name, and I love that shit. I love that shit. Everybody's like, not, you know, it's like nobody saying Kodo. Yep. Show, show me a list of details. I just want to see, I just want to see from what he's got currently of that little paragraph of, of what he's doing, and not even a paragraph, just a couple of lines of what he's doing with his EZA now. I hope it's a page because in today's meta and stuff like that, he'd have to be absolutely disgusted. And if he's disgusting, then going forward, every unit after that is disgusting. Like, 100%. So every unit that was better than him then is going to be better than him now and later. Just say. But I do expect this one to be kind of、uh, low key going wild just because it's the first one. Oh, they didn't show that? What is. Whoa! 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 Dude, is this, a re is this a rework to the story? Is that 5,900 and something dragon songs that they have, bro? You これまでは自身が最後にクリアしたチームを保存するというものはございましたがイベントごとに他のユーザー様がクリアしたチームを参照できるようになり自分がそのキャラクターを全て所持しているのでそのまま編成でき足りないキャラクターがいればアナウンスしてもらえるといったよりクリアに向けたサポートができるものを検討しております。I'm confused on that part, so I'm definitely going to look at translations later on, like right after this、uh, video is done in this video to see if there is anything for this. Because there's got to be, it's been three hours. That's the beauty about doing this like later, is <laughs> hopefully there's a whole lot of、uh, translations. But if, we, if you're still watching currently right now, I appreciate you. Thank you for still watching the video. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, subscribe, turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. See, this is one thing that I'm going to love whenever Global and、uh, JP finally synced up is that this stuff, there will be an English one that goes out when this goes out for the Japanese one. And that'll just be so much better. So much better, man. I'm telling you right now. Also, somebody made the comment of saying that they should,、uh, uh, when the sync up comes for all the people that play the JP that's not on JP, they should make an English thing for it. I don't know if they'll do that, but that would be pretty cool if they did do that, but I don't know if they will do that. I could be wrong, too. It could be in that roadmap as well. As far as I fucking know. So, we will see you Bye bye. Hey, man. You've been doing a good job this year, bro. You've been doing a good job. I, I can't, I'm not going to sit here in front on Omatsu and act like he ain't been doing anything because I know that was like the cool thing for a little bit for everyone is just hate、uh, Omatsu. But this year, this year, this man has come in and said, We're going to turn Dokkan Battle around. And I love that shit. So let me,、uh, let me cut until I can finally see some、uh, information. On that roadmap, and then we'll be back. Okay, that didn't take long. um I would like to say, first of all, shout out Tomb Rami, uh the homie Tomb Rami right there, uh because I think that he uh translates this. Yeah, JP Dokon roadmap Google Translate. I think he done it himself. uh Shout out to him. If this isn't like super correct or whatever, like that, I'm pretty sure he's obviously going to be like, hey, yo, it's, it's just Google Translate. Don't don't come at me if it ain't correct, correct. But I'm going to go off and using this one because, again, it is fully translated right here. So I'm going to assume that everything's just about right. 
here. I'm going to trust the homie tune. Uh, so we have March, April is going to have a function uh, addition. And then this is a refurbishment and event. And then they have a split. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. So the May, June, and then the July, August stuff. And okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I was low key right on where that is around that time and stuff like that. All right. So that's that's not terrible. So we have update regarding awakening. Okay. So I'm gonna assume this is uh, again for the super easy A stuff, and then having everything else pop off and all that stuff uh, with the ores and everything. So I'm gonna assume that might be some kind of big uh, data download that happens. Uh, Adventure Door Dokon Story UI. So yeah, that's what we were seeing. So it is a renovation of that whole story thing. And I like that. I like that shit because all these UI fixes and stuff like that make Dokon feel a lot more modern of a game. And also it just makes it look more appealing and look like it almost ain't even a, a mobile game. Cause that's sort of the name of the game now is making sure your mobile game doesn't look like a mobile game. And with all these like implementations that they're putting in and stuff like that, easily, easily could be done especially with if we start getting updated textures and all that stuff hdr and everything oh man over with uh adventure dokkan story new so uh chapter opening so i guess we're gonna get a whole new uh dokkan story uh popping through and last time we got stuff like that well again we do get lrs and everything out of it so i'm 100 cool with that a lot of dragon souls i think come from it as well so uh definitely 100 happy about that now we get into may june and then the March and April will be for, uh, again, say a day golden week in that sort of realm. So getting into pretty much the middle of the year uh, and is what we're actually seeing a whole lot of things pop out. And that's again, just for that point at that point right now. And again, if I'm not mistaken, like we'll get into, I think like if not September or somewhere around uh, late August or so is when we get into the actual uh worldwide celebration so that would make sense that again it is stopped right there at that point until we get into the sync up and everything else and then we see what that rest of that roadmap goes for and i said this last year uh and the year before that we needed a roadmap in dokkan battle because that would help out way uh more to n let everyone know what's coming and and the fact that they've done it is amazing so dokkan so we have the uh team copy function so you can copy teams. Interesting there. Okay. Uh, enemy uh, skill expansion. Uh, enemies are going to be doing more things, getting harder. Interesting. So damage skills, attack and defense, change skill, and then more will be added. Okay, so there might be a situation where some of these units, uh, they might be able to go back to being able to be stunned, attack and defense lower, and all this stuff throughout on these like hard, hard events. Uh, so something very interesting, or they might be able to do all these things to you as well too, even more and, and stuff like that, maybe more frequent and whatever, just to make the event a little bit harder. So ally skill expansion. So field effect expansion and more will be added uh, one after another. Interesting. So you might be able to uh, get more out of your uh, ally or ally skill expansions and stuff like that, possibly uh very interesting data download improvement oh uh that would be nice if we actually start getting uh easier and like not as long data downloads and stuff like that to sort of help out people on like older devices and stuff like that because again like all the new devices and also even take advantage of the new devices and be able to like get your data download that much faster and stuff like that maybe even a different screen and whatever for it would be kind of cool anyways before i was rudely interrupted uh, we do have the shop screen renovation. So in introducing new S wait, new SSR characters that you can join on your venture. And that's event. That's under event. I'm please give me a raid system, please. Like at this point, just please give me the damn raid system. I've been asking this for like it feels like four or five years in Dokkan for a raid system, like a proper good raid system, not like the all-stars or anything like that, but an actual raid system and stuff. Dude, just, just give me that. Just give me that. And I'm great. I'm, I'm better than great. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the roadmap, how you feel about the producer letter in general, everything that was showed off and stuff there. Uh, let me know. 
let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, have an awesome day slash night. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah.